Hey, welcome back to Indy Now. <laughs> Ryan said it's about to get really bougie in here. Yeah, it is. And he's right. It's not every day we have a sommelier on the show. Yes. Jim, you are wine director of Bluebeard and Amelia's, uh, here to teach us how to make a great charcuterie board and how to pair it right with the perfect wines for your upcoming holiday get-togethers. And we even know charcuterie is charcuterie. Is that how you say it? Char uh, charcuterie. Charcuterie. Yeah. charcuterie. Charcuterie. It's French, yeah. We. Oui. Yes. We. Oui. We. Oui. We got a lot of French lessons on this show. I know, Somalia, this is great. charcuterie. Jan, thank you so much Jan, for being thank here. thank you for being oh, here. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah. Uh, thanks for having me. I'm really excited to talk about uh, some of these wines and uh, like one of the things about a charcuterie board makes you can have an instant party. Yes. Yeah. You know, yes. if you, you don't have to go to a lot of trouble, you literally can go to Amelia's or your favorite. Uh, grocery store yeah. and pick out some meats and cheeses. Uh, go uh, pick out a few nice wines from your favorite wine store. Hopefully that is also Amelia's. Yes. Um, and, uh, and you're done, you know, you just display it nicely. So some of the things you want to include on a charcuterie board, just to make it well-rounded, you want to do like a cute, like a, like a ground pork sausage. This is calabrese, so okay. that's just like a ground salami, basically. Yep. Nice. This is more of a whole muscle cut. This is from the pork shoulder, and that is speck. So that is a uh, slightly smoked ham. Yep. Okay. And then we, we, then you can also do a nice spreadable meat. Mm. I love this little chicken pate. Yeah, my wife from, loves pate. Uh, this yeah. from Amelia's is so good. Okay. Um, and then for cheeses, you want to do a soft cheese. Here we have um, a brie oh, from brie. Jasper Hill Farms in Vermont. Nice. Um, and then we have Hollerhocker, mm. which is a, an aged uh, Alpine style. Okay. So that's oh, a good one to have. So and then, good. you know, it's nice to include a blue. Mm -hmm. So the blue also from Amelia's. Um, you could include even a harder cheese like a uh, like a uh, Parmesan or okay. Parmigiano Reggiano. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, yes, uh, Francese from oh. Amelia's. Can't uh, go wrong with yeah. this. Can Ryan, we get in we've got to yeah, try a little it. bit of this. So, yeah, the Francese. And then the wines, what I've really picked out here are some of my favorites. Um, let's just pop this one and give it yeah. a try, oh, shall we? Oh, right, yes. great. Um, it's one of my favorite sounds. Woo! Here we go. Bubbles. There we go. <laughs> um, so Chenin Blanc is a grape from France, and it is made in a region called Vouvray. Okay. It is a great food pairing wine, great with all kinds of meats and cheeses, but also a great Thanksgiving wine. Mm. So as we're heading into Thanksgiving, Vouvray, and then this comes in a sparkling version. Oh, so that's yeah, fancy. Woo. yeah, bubbles. Yeah. Mind blown. Mind blown. <laughs> sparkling Vouvray. Um, and uh, anyone who knows me knows that bubbles are my favorite. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I don't have champagne tattooed on my arm for nothing. Oh, wow. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> That's great. That and, is awesome. Um, so this would be just really all around great wine. Okay. With wow. cheese and charcuterie for a oh, get together for um, yeah, Thanksgiving table. It would yeah. be good with everything. Teach us what we need to do when mm. we're tasting this wine, Jane. Okay, yeah, so yeah, first is kind of sight. You want to <laughs> look at the wine. You see that it's got bubbles. Mm -hmm. You notice the mm. color. Okay. It's to my liking. Yeah, it's very nice. You swirled. That was good. You want to swirl it a little, that which opens it up. Oh, okay. I'm and the then type when, you know, when someone like you, an expert, asks me if they like it, I'm like, I like it, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. great. I'll like it. It's yeah. great. <laughs> I always say when you're if, you're, if you're uncomfortable at the table, like doing that, right. what I say is you're supposed to smell it just to make sure the wine is sound. Yeah. It should right. smell like fruit and flowers and maybe mm -hmm. earth. It should not smell like your grandmother's basement oh. or a wet dog. Oh gosh. If it smells like those two, you can reach out. That's <laughs> very descriptive. <laughs> Jan, this is delicious. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I know uh, we'd love to have you back here again mm. another time too. Hey, mm. let people know where they can find you if yes. they're interested in trying out any of these and making their own. Yes. Yeah, so, um, Ameliasbread.com. You can buy all of our breads. You can buy a variety of meats and cheeses. You can come to Bluebeard and order the charcuterie board, nice. and it just comes to your table. All these wines are available either at Amelia's or Bluebeard. And if you want to learn more about how to do all of this, yes. I teach a class called Road to Psalm. Okay. And we are just yeah. finishing up our second session of that, and we'll start again uh, early next year. Wonderful. So um, just direct message me or something, and yeah. uh, we'll get you on our waiting list. We'll get Cheers. your info, Jan. Jan. Thank you Jan so much. Jan thank you so much.